This video will discuss how we can use matrices to help us do linear regression analysis. Now say that we have a set of data of, we'll say it's been put in ordered pairs, and we think that the data follows uh, a linear path. Then we can use a least squares regression line of y equals a sub 0 times x plus a sub 1. In other words, y equals mx plus b. And we're going to then try to calculate uh, that regression value for the slope and the y-intercept. And so we know that we're going to have to use our y values and our x values from the data to help us calculate those two. So in matrix form, we can say that capital Y is the n by 1 matrix of all the y values. Our capital X is an n by 2 matrix where the first column represents all of our x values and the second column represents the number 1 in every entry. And the reason it's the number 1 is because it's x to the 0 power and anything to the zero power gives us one. And then the capital A matrix is, our, is going to represent the values that we find for the slope and the y-intercept. So once we have it, the way that we can actually calculate the regression is we will actually do the product of the, x the matrix x transpose times x times matrix A will equal matrix X transpose times the matrix of Y. And once we have that, we're going to solve for A using any of the methods we've talked about in solving for matrix equations. So let's look at an example to help lay out how this would set up. So say that we have a milk production facility and they're trying to optimize price based on demand. They got 4,500 gallons. Uh, they sell at $3 for one week. They're able to sell $37.50. 3,750 gallons at 325 another week, and another week they try at 350 and sell 3,300 gallons. And they want to know, well, what's the least squares regression line, because it appears to follow a line, and then what would be a better price, hitting 340 or hitting 325? So let's start with that first question. So for the way I would set this up is I would say that I would do price as my X and Y as my gallons. And the rationale behind that is that the number of gallons that are sold by the milk production facility is dependent upon the price, not the other way around. So typically our X is our independent variable or Y is our dependent variable. So in this case, X is set, the price is set, and that determines how many gallons will be sold that week. So now we need those different things. We need the X matrix, the transpose of X matrix, and the Y matrix. So if I calculate each of these, my X matrix, I would have the $3, the 325, and the 350, and then each of those would have a 1 in the second column. So the transpose of that would take my first column and make that become my first row. My second column would become my second row. And then my Y matrix will be each of the number of gallons sold at each of those prices. So now I need to multiply. Uh, x transpose times x, and I have this set up, and when I multiply that, I'm going to get a 2 by 2 matrix, and I can just follow my rules of multiplication of matrices to follow that. And then I need to do x transpose times y, and that will create a 2 by 1 matrix. And so I take these values, and let's put them back to the equation that I have, where I know that x transpose x that product times A will equal X transpose times Y. So I have my, my values to plug in, and now I need to solve for A. Well, how do I solve for A at this point? I can either go through and use Gauss-Jordan elimination, or I could multiply by the inverse of X transpose X to get A by itself. Either way will work. You choose what method you like personally and go with that. Either way, I should end up with the A equaling negative 2,400 and 11,650. So this means if I plug it back into the equation, that my regression line would be negative 2,400x plus 11,650. So how can I use this now? This tells me that if I input some value, some amount that I want to charge for milk, I should then have an output for what I think I would predict for the number of gallons I should sell. 
So we want to know, would it be better off to price milk at 340 or 325? So I can plug both of those numbers into the regression line, or I could recognize that I already have the 325 and I know what that one is, so I could use that for comparison. Either method, it may depend on what, your per, what some of your personal preferences are. I like to use, when I have actual numbers, the actual numbers. So I know that my profit is how many gallons did I sell times uh, the actual price per gallon. So I know at 325, I should make $12,187.50. Now I need to figure out how many gallons would I sell at 340. So I have to use that regression line to help me calculate the number of gallons. And if I do that, I should end up with about 3,490 gallons sold. And then my profit should be the $3.40 times the number of gallons, which would give me $11,866 of profit. So based on this model, I'm better off to sell milk at $3.25 than I am at $3.40.